Water, ice, and snow cover three quarters of the planet. They soak up the impact of climate change. But the latest UN report predicts sea levels could rise three feet by the year 2100. Oceans will acidify, and some marine life will collapse. Climate change is coming fast, not just in the atmosphere, but in the water. The consequences for nature and humanity are sweeping and severe. What is at stake is the health of ecosystems, wildlife, and importantly, the world we leave for our children. Canada is threatened in many ways, from coastal communities to our vast Arctic. A lot of communities, a lot of coastlines in Canada are in big trouble. Now we know it's just going to be a lot worse than we uh, anticipated just a few years ago. The Canadian reality, we face three oceans. Our more than 200,000 kilometres of coastline is longer than any other country in the world. Rising sea levels will confront oceanfront communities, mountain snow and glaciers are melting and permafrost is thawing. And we are intimately connected to the Arctic, where the impact is greatest. The need, say experts, is to act on multiple fronts. We need a different energy source. We need to do carbon capture out of the atmosphere. And we need to take care of the people that live near sea level. And yet, Canada is among the most divided countries debating climate change. In this election campaign, the party now leading the polls vows to end carbon pricing. Good morning, everyone. Climate change is here. Other parties differ in the degree of urgency to do more. Many of us are caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, it's very difficult for Alberta to shift away, to shift away from uh, oil and gas development. But at the same time, we have to face the consequences if we continue down this road. Uh, we're going to pay the price later. The bottom line for many experts, addressing climate change will involve some pain. So get on with it, because the pain will only get worse. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.